When you think about Wisconsin, what words come to mind? For some people, it might be cheese, Packers, old fashions. What about supper clubs? That is a unique tradition here in Wisconsin. And this month's issue of Madison Magazine has some information and some exciting things about supper clubs. Here to talk more about that is Andrea Bailing, our editor of Madison Magazine. Hey, Andrea, good hey, to have you. Thank you. Yes, supper clubs. Yes. So tell us about that. That's the sort of the cover story of uh, the April issue. It is. Yeah. Yep. And supper clubs definitely a, a quintessential Wisconsin um, uh, dining experience. Yeah. And we set out to kind of define what it is and what it is today and how it's yeah. changed. And it turned out that it's a lot harder to define what a supper club is. It has this 100 year history in Wisconsin, yeah. but um, it does have this really interesting history and, and what it has become today. So we kind of took a case study of four modern supper clubs, okay. the Harvey House, um, and then two soon to open um, uh, uh, supper club inspired places, Driftless Social in Mount Horeb, and then the Cranberry Club set to open on the north side. Um, and then we also looked at the Dell Bar that's been in the Dells forever. Right. Um, and just and kind of looked at what they're doing today, how they are evolving the history of, of the, the very classic supper club experience that has its own um, traditions and uh, from the food to how you eat it to how you you know talk to the people around you um, so it's interesting to take a look at what the supper club scene looks like today yeah and I'm wondering I mean are they opening new supper clubs is that something that, that's kind of trending right now it kind of it, it totally is and yeah. there's this this whole you know there's even this huge Facebook page 60,000 um, followers that are supper club Wisconsin supper club enthusiasts sure. <laughs> um, and it is it's a very uh, people are taking a modern approach especially like the Harvey House. They don't say that they're a supper club, but they're inspired by a supper club and they sure. take kind of the best elements of that and they're kind of, we're kind of witnessing an origin story with the kind of restaurant that they are today. So interesting. And on the topic of food, uh, what will readers find in the food section this month? Yes, the weather is turning here. We're able to get back outside. So we yeah. did the wineries to hit in the area. So Ooh, yeah. a bunch of different ones that you kind of can chart your course for your, for your next uh, weekend outing. We also feature um, dessert bars. We've got this delicious looking stack of, of dessert bars that you can find in town from four or five different places. And then we feature the restaurant Hone um, that is on East Johnson Street. Hone, so, okay. Yes. Okay, yep. so more about that in the food section. So um, kind of transitioning out of food now and talking about another really big story that you have. You um, are uh, instead uh, talking about a local DNA hunter I'm just curious to know, what is a DNA hunter? I know, yeah. So her name's Mary Eberly. Okay. And we were, we found out about her and, um, you know, super fascinated, fascinated by this topic. So today there's so many people that are searching for their family history, for their ancestors, where they come from. And Mary Eberly has the scientific background and yeah. she started helping people through those database um, and records that, databases that people, um, you know, track where their, you know, how their DNA is. Yeah. DNA yeah. connects. Yeah. She helps these people then connect those dots after you've you've taken those kind of ancestry um, tests. Oh, okay. So because it, it really it, that's kind of where it starts. Your journey starts to finding kind of where you're from and 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 finding family members. She takes it the next step and helps them um, really kind of connect with those people even um, and get them on the phone and you know wow. yeah it's okay. it's super interesting. So she's got a lot of we've got a lot of stories of people she's she's helped. That is fa that's so fascinating. And yeah. you, I mean you're all always featuring such interesting people in your magazine and um, you have a, a series of a personality profiles that yes. you're doing this month. Who's who's in for this month? Yep, it is Dexter Patterson, and okay. he co-founded a birding club um, for people of color. Oh. Um, yeah, he, and it co-founded it, and it, it's just a total passion project of his. Um, he shared a bunch of pictures of birds that he's taken photos of. Amazing, um, and he's just a super interesting guy that has done a lot of uh, different things in his life. So interesting. Look Lots at, of good stuff there, yeah. and and uh, and every issue you've. Uh, been publishing first person essays. Yes. So what's the April issue essay about? Oh, it's so fun um, for, for anyone who, who is a fan. So we've, uh, Mike Muckian um, wrote a piece. He was a Madison cabbie um, in the oh, 70s. Wow. Okay. And he tells the story of a very famous passenger he had back then. Um, that he that I I'll, I'll I'll give away the surprise here, but you'll have to read the story. Um, Bruce Springsteen was in the back of his cab okay. in the 1970s, so he tells the story of kind of figuring out who he was, yeah. and and then um, so he didn't immediately know that it was Bruce no. the boss getting into his car. No, right? he didn't, and then he was like, "Are you?" And he's like, "I am." So it's it's a fun story. 
Yeah, yeah. Al always interesting to find out those things that are happening locally here in the Madison area. And you bring you do such a great job of bringing that to, to the readers here in Madison. We appreciate that, Andrea. Thank you. Yep. Don't go away. There's more Talk Wisconsin after the break. Stick around.